Okay, this is morphine. You will see here that it's a T-shaped structure. And when I look at this molecule, I orientate myself by looking for the blue nitrogen and the red oxygen groups. Um, as you can see, there are five rings. I'll just go through those. Ring naming systems vary. Check the paper you're reading. But uh, generally, this is the A ring. The C ring. The B ring. The E ring. Uh, containing the nitrogen. There are some functional groups that you need to know about. Firstly, there is the amine group with the nitrogen. Um, now that forms ionic interactions, which are absolutely essential to morphine's function. There is also a phenolic C3 which is here and that forms hydrogen bonds whereas the actual ring itself forms van der Waals interactions uh, with the receptor. Now this structure has been studied for about 100 years and uh, chemists have altered practically every part of it that you could think of um, to get a whole range of different molecules. So first of all, what happens if you remove this E-ring containing the nitrogen? Turns out that's absolutely essential for function. If you remove that, um, morphine ceases to have pain killing activity. So the E-ring is absolutely critical to function. If you remove the D-ring, this gives rise to a group of um, class of drugs called morphinons. If you remove both C and D-rings, um, then you give rise to a different class of compounds known as the benzomorphinons. Um, pentazosine is an example of that, which unfortunately has uh, hallucinogenic properties. You can remove rings B, C and D and still get uh, an active molecule. And drugs in this class include things like pethidine, um, which is used in labour, and fentanyl which is used as a, a patch, often used as a patch for pain killing activity. Um, if you remove rings B, C, D and E, then uh, you get big class drugs like uh, methadone. Okay. But to summarise, the key things that you need to know are that this nitrogen and its ring structure are absolutely essential. That this phenol group here forms hydrogen bonds. And that this ring structure, the A-ring, forms van der Waals interactions with the receptor binding pocket.